Reggie, tell everybody what's tomorrow. Cool. He starts kindergarten. He's gonna have to, we're gonna have to leave at 6.30 in the morning to get you on time, huh? Are you ready? Do you have your backpack and everything? Drop of water in your diesel tank? Drop a bit. You think that's good to have a drop of water in there? No. So, what else are you going to teach the teacher when you get to school tomorrow? Yeah, I have one more night. Just have one more night? Maybe if she has water in her diesel fuel, maybe you can teach her how to get it out? When do you go to school? And right? I'm gonna teach her how to win a belt buckle. Oh really? How I did one and catch two feet. Did the rich but didn't kill you and rope. So he didn't talk about but the buy one. So you're gonna teach your teacher how to rope two feet. And cut a cow's horns off. Cut a cow's horns off. This is how you well, get a water out of a sink. All right, kind of a sad day. Anchor Brand Ranch. Ridgie Bug is headed off to kindergarten. And Roxy is starting what grade? Senior year. Senior, oh, I'm gonna lose all my babies all at once. You're growing up so fast. <laughs> Mom's gonna get a picture of everybody. Rio is the bus driver this year. Any questions about safe bus driving skills? Well, I did a 30 hour online course and it taught me all of took 90 hours. All right, so he did 90 hours of a 30 hour driving course. You should be good to go. Ridgie! And where's the other? Remind me one more time. What's the last thing you got to teach the kindergarten teacher about? Oh all right, if you can make a bull into a steer, you can do whatever you got to do, huh? All right, you're going to keep all the rules and get, be a good boy? All right. Wear your, wear your seatbelt and be good on the bus, okay? Right, what are we going to do without Ridgebug? Who are we going to play with? Maybe me and you can just play. Kind of a rainy day, just sprinkling a little, but. Check out this truck. Look at that right there. It's not too bad for one of these trucks. It's all clean and nice. Old guy had it and they said he, he died. And I'm pretty sure it was nice, but it sat there for like, because I don't know, all the, whatever it's called, receipts, like maintenance receipts are in there and stuff, and it's from 2015. And the roof's kind of like cracked and wood. It was sat parked for a few years. All right, love you. Bye, Reggie Drive Bye. safely, Bye. speed limit. Okay, let me know when you guys get there, okay? Watch out for they got in the cooler. Nothing.
they go. Hey, no, that's not mine. Okay, we got them kids headed off for the first day of school. You might have noticed there was a couple of students that didn't get on the bus. We may or may not address that subject later, but suffice it to say, we're about to do a little bit of roping practice, horse training. So nice, cool day. Look at the clouds are out. There's a light little sprinkle of rain and uh, it's cool and nice. Yesterday was hot. Oh, it was hot. Even last night, couldn't even go in the house and go to bed. It was hot, but this morning, nice weather. All right, now, I like to say that I'm a pretty fair roping coach, but I'm gonna be put to the test now. I've got this roping student, Anchor Brand Ranch, head ranch hand, Lorenzo, is about to take up the addiction of team roping, so got some lessons coming up today. Like ran a few times and then eventually whenever it started to pull in front of you, you just undo the leash and let it go. Yeah, those collies are smart dogs. You probably pick it up pretty quick. I don't know nothing about training them, so we use all these catahoulas and curs, or more of a head dog. These collies, somebody's gonna have to teach Riley how to operate one of them. Hey, there's a nice little group of cows all right bunched together right there. You guys get done team roping maybe you can snag them and see if there's anything we need in that bunch
Oh, Bill. Oh, Bill, you ready to go get some cows now, huh, Bill? Go, go, Bill! Bill, 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 Wrong. It's kind of hard to count them when they're moving all around, isn't it? What, Ridgie? What's gonna be in that trailer? Because then when you see the cow, he should. I know, but Buck doesn't know he's a dog. He thinks he's a kid, so he thinks he gets to ride in the truck. He don't know he's a cow dog. He's not in the truck, dude. He just he thinks he's one of the kids, huh? Oh, Buck. One of the kids? How old is Buck? He's about two and a half years old. He's old enough to know better, but he still don't behave, kind of like some other little kids I know. Kind of like some kids that have been going to the principal office on their first day of school ever. Huh? Tell us about tell us about that principal's office. What'd you find in there? Did they got a cookie jar or candy in there or anything? What do they got in there? So what did you do once you got to the principal's office? Well, all of the kids did. So we just, we just like put a little paper in there and then we just came oh. They didn't yell at you or spank your butt or nothing like that? Well, the principal office wasn't there. The principal wasn't there, huh? All right, but you've been being good after that, right? You haven't gone to the principal's office no more. Did you learn the rules and learn how to behave? been being a good boy and learning lots of good stuff okay it's kind of nice to have a day off today though huh Saturday is a good day Saturday is a good day when you're a kindergarten man no that gate don't work it used to work, but now it just stays closed. Get uh, Anchor Brand Ranch Head Ranch Hand Welder Man Lorenzo to help you fix that gate so it works like it's supposed to. Need cut needs to come clear off, get cleaned up, new hinges. Those piano hinges just got messed up to where they're seized up and then kind of off kilter, and it just don't work good. But it'd be handy if it works. So get Mr. Welder Man to help you fix her up. Okay, let's go if we're gonna go. You ready? Yeah. Let's do it. We ain't never getting out of here at this rate. Load up. Yeah. Got survival water. Okay, it's about go time. There's a bunch of cattle way up here ahead. Riley has turned the dogs loose. <coughs> we're gonna let these dogs get their wiggles out for a second right here. And then we'll go after them. Now, one thing about these cattle, the reason we stopped quite a ways from them, if we pull up on them and get those cattle running and then put dogs on them, the cattle are just gonna run and run and run and really try the dogs. If we can send the dogs ahead of us those cattle will kind of fight those dogs and circle and bay up and they'll finally come to an agreement, cows and dogs. About that time, we come riding up there nice and easy and then we can handle those cattle and keep them going slow. 
So that's, that's one trick to handling rough cattle with hard-headed, stubborn dogs, is let the dogs go ahead and do their work for a little while. If you come in too soon and spook those cattle and get them running, then maybe even your dogs can't stop them. All right, what dogs do you need here? Riley's, Riley's getting his dog collars turned on here. Come here, buddy. Hey, old buddy, 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 buddy. Ah, gotcha. Buddy, How about that little black and tan dog over there? You did? All uh, right, you bank a brand ranch cameraman for a minute. I got to get old Trusty out of there so you guys can get your horses. Look at the brand new saddle I got from this Inca Ran Ranch guy. That's a saddle. That's a, and that's a saddle horn. The Deagle saddle horn. But all the other saddle horns are tiny. You ready, Rance, to go on the cattle drive? Oh, yeah. All right. We better get these guys' horses off so we can get old Champ and get Reggie Bug mounted up on Champ, huh? Oh, pickle. Pickle the famous wild Mustang, Big Jake the famous barrel racing horse, and Ryler the, feral, the famous barrel racer. <coughs> what? Okay, fine, I'll get him for you. <laughs> All right, the plan is let these dogs go a little bit ahead, let these cowboys come along behind, and I'm gonna take this truck up to the corral and ride back this way and meet them. Certainly it's gonna go all exactly how we planned it. You can just imagine that. cattle up ahead it ain't a lot of cattle but there's a couple of weaning sized long-eared bull calves in there we got to get those so hope this works out see if the ones we're after are in this little group hopefully we're not wasting our time here see the ones we're looking for. This is a possibly a fail here. Okay, it was a bit of a letdown here. This little group of cows was not the ones that we were looking for. But I can see some calves there that do need work, so 
take what we can get. We'll work what we got here and go look somewhere else for the ones we need. What'd you end up with? Three calves. Calves need marked? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and get in there, head them, heal them. We'll mark them up, let them go, and go look somewhere else for the ones we need. Where's them big old wiener steers we were looking for, Ridgie? Why didn't you get them for me? Weren't there, huh? You can only catch what's there. How's that dog water taste? Bad. Bad. Okay, now I feel like I want to jump in. Think there's still some fish eggs in there? No. No. Need you to get either back on your horse Get back on your horse or be Anchor Brand Ranch cameraman. Yeah, that's a choice. It's not even that hot. Got some clouds out. It's not too bad. Yeah, that's the problem. When it's hot, they'd be bunched up here by the water. So I guess we're just going to have to come out and ride on a blazing hot day and gather them. That's how you'll get them, though. Yeah. Uh, nah. Hey, girl. Cam, over here, Bill was the only one with all the cows. Where'd the other ones go? Yeah, the other dogs are just running around. I and finally chased the trailer. They're still getting them. Uh, I loaded them up, clear up the road. Oh, snakes, snakes, snakes! That's right. This? Yeah. That's a snake. Okay, grab your lassos, rope those couple of calves. Let's mark them and move on somewhere else. I don't want a lasso. We're, we're wasting our. You don't got a lasso? I don't think I got a lasso. It's a big, stiff one. All right, get up on there. Let's go. What? Climb. Climb? Yeah, climb. I can get up there and then climb. How about I'll just help you? How about that? <laughs> Start climbing. You gotta try. Try? Well, are we getting my bag? Let's start trying now. Start trying. Climb. Grab a hold of the saddle horn. Climb now. Dad, go. Grab your reins. Okay, we need a header, a healer, and a cameraman and a ground crew. Yeah, All right. Reggie said he's going to be cameraman. Now he's not going to be pointing it at the dirt, shaking it around. He's going to do a good job, okay? All right, it's on. Nope, just rope the cab. Down so that 
Attention where you're putting that thing. If it turns out, let me save me. Please. Where you're putting your thing looks all sideways to me. Got him. Oh! <laughs> 
you to stay out! Stay out! Okay, we came on the hunt for some big steer and bull calves that we were going to sell this week. What we ended up catching right here was three mama cows with three little bull calves, but those did need castrated and earmarked, so we got that done. We'll just leave those here, and we'll go look elsewhere for the ones we're after. Go get loaded up, Reggie. Are we going to leave the cows? We're going to leave these here and go find some more. Come on, let's go. That's good, leave him just like that. Get in, let's go. Get in, puppies. There goes the puppies. We're always training puppies. Training puppies, training kids. If you don't know what that's like, it's great. Takes more patience than anyone has. All right, load up. Uh, what you gonna do with that? Feed it to some of them dogs and get your hands cleaned off. Gee whiz. Come up to the front Get in, let's go. All the way at that water trough. Go wash them off. Hurry, fast. Here's your leash. Oh. 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 
Oh, geez. Gotta go wash his hands. He's always getting into a mess. Okay, so one more little bunch right here. We'll check these out and see if there's anything we need in there. Let's go hunt them up. Let's go hunt them up. There it goes. There it goes. I'll give those dogs a few minutes to bunch those up and work on them. They'll probably drive pretty decent after that. Okay, this is kind of going like it's supposed to. The dogs have got those cows stopped up in a pretty tight bunch, starting to get a handle on them. My cowboys are doing what they're supposed to, which is kind of be patient and ease up in there nice and slow, and not spook them cows off into running. By the time those kids get up there, they should be able to call the dogs off and drive those cows pretty decent. Dogs circling the herd. That's how it's supposed to go right there. Got these guys getting there. Got one pulling out and giving them a little bit of a test here. I think she'll probably change her mind in a second. Yep, she's decided to head to the bunch. Too many kids, too many dogs. Get in that bunch, that's where the relief is at. Okay, uh, my kids have been away for me, from me for a little while now. I went and set the gates at the corral, parked the truck. I'm almost back to them. Looks like they've pretty well got a handle on these cattle now. There's been a few of them trying. I could see some dust going on, so it hadn't been all easy, but they've got them all and they're all together right now, so they've done good. Got a couple of bulls back here at the back going kind of slow, as usual. Getting along pretty good in my Anchor Brand Ranch saddle. Check out the tooling on the top of that big saddle horn on the Wade saddle. Still a little squeaky. Squeaky, squeaky. Been handling okay or giving you trouble? We got anything in here that we need?
in my foot now. Got him. Oh. Yep. Teeny tiny baby horny toad. Here, take him and show the little guys. Ah! Got away. Ah! We've caught so many at the house. Those little ones like that? A bunch of little baby ones right now? Yeah. Let me see them. Little teeny baby horny toad. Get up there, let's go. How you doing, collie dog? You just having fun? to shoot these cattle from the pond across the street to the corral over there where the truck's parked. Hopefully it's going to work smoothly. They come out of there pretty good. They're headed the right direction. Looks like Riley's about to get where he needs to be. Get behind these and get them up, Ryder. Quiet. Got all those new roping steers over here. Kind of working as decoys. Might make these cattle think it's safe to go in there. There's a wing over there. If Riley can get that front cow tucked in that wing headed the right direction, maybe the rest of these will go. Walk up, cattle. Walk up in there. Walk up in there, cattle. No, no, no. Don't try that back there. All right, that's good. Oh, we got one that's going to try it. Hopefully, she'll change her mind in a second. Yeah, she's headed back for the bunch. That's kind of how that's supposed to work. She's supposed to decide in that herd is the safe place. Let her in. Good. There's adventure tours. If you want to go on a fake alien hunt, those guys will take your money and take you on one. Guaranteed to catch no aliens. Good job, cowboys. You're pretty good cowboys for a bunch of kindergartners, huh? Kindergartners make the best cowboys? Yeah, 
just get off, get a pile of ants, eat it, and then go home. Got anything we need? Yeah, that yeah, that bull could go. He's kind of right on the borderline, but he can go. He'll he'll bring a pretty penny right now. Hey, Bill. How you doing, old Bill? I don't know if I ever even mentioned it on Anchor Brand Ranch video, but Bill's mama, Jill, greatest cow dog ever, she passed on to the happy hunting grounds several months ago, so she was a good old dog. We miss her. That's Wagger. He gets no credit, but he's Bill's brother. Bill's the famous cowhound, and Wagger's just his brother. Everybody's got a brother like that, you know.
She's bleeding. That's got to hurt. Let's go, boys. Here goes Rio and his partner Jake at the first high school rodeo of the new season. Jake gets it on. The whack. Nice. Nice run, kids. Nice. How about a 6.55? 6.55.